Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I make videos about e-commerce. Today we're going to be talking about free product research methods and how to determine if your product idea could be viable or not. So if you don't know already, private label is when we take a product that already exists and you put your own branding on it. So we're not inventing anything here. We're simply taking a look into what's selling on Amazon and analyzing the data to confirm if we can penetrate the market or not. And then and ordering the product with your own branding on it. But before we get into it, I'm actually going to be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card in this video. So what you have to do is watch to the end, like the video, subscribe, and comment one thing down below that you learned from this video along with your email address so I can contact you. And there will only be one entry per person. I'll also reply to the winner's comment to notify you to look out for an email from me. Please watch out for any fake accounts pretending to be me and emailing you saying that you've won. I've seen a lot of that happen nowadays and I don't want anybody to get scammed. I'll be sending the winner a gift card code that they can just copy and paste into Amazon so we don't have to deal with any link clicking. Don't click on any sketchy links. Okay, let's get into it. So there are many product research methods out there, but today I thought I'd touch on some free methods since I remember first starting out and having a tight budget. And this is actually how I found one of my first products to sell. Okay, so we wanna get a product idea list going. So think about your own buying habits. Take a look around at what you have in your own house. Maybe you just bought something that no one has really heard of yet and a friend recommended it to you. Think. Of of any problems that you run into on a daily basis that could be solved with a product a product that already exists. For example, I'm always losing my chapstick and I know that keyring chapstick holders already exist. That might be a good product to add to your list. You can also start typing words into Amazon's search bar and you'll notice that suggestions start popping down. These are things that customers are typing in and searching for. So start clicking on those products and look at the customers also bought section and see what other products are being recommended on the product page. Even reading the product reviews can give you some insight. Then you'll find yourself going down a rabbit hole clicking on products and coming up with all these ideas. Just write them all down. So I like to look for products that are small and light. Maybe they fit in the palm of your hand. Sells for over $15. Doesn't contain batteries or any electronics. Looks affordable to produce. Simple design so there's less room for error on the manufacturer's part. Aren't fragile so they won't be damaged in shipping possibly has a low return rate. For example, clothes have a higher return rate because people order them, try them on, and then return them when they don't fit. And looks like there's a way to differentiate your product that no one has done yet. Because remember, you're going to need a reason for customers to purchase your product over someone's who is already established. A great way to do this is to improve the product, read the reviews and see what customers don't like about the competitor's product, and maybe have the product come with a freebie, etc. I like to avoid products that are already well established and have tens of thousands of reviews. I look for the main competitor having a few thousand reviews max, and then the second and third having maybe a thousand or less. So there's some tips to get your brain thinking on what kind of products you should be looking for. And you should be able to create a pretty good list of ideas. Just write down anything and everything that comes to mind. Next, we're going to use Helium 10's free Google Chrome extension to look further into our product ideas and gather some data. How to install Helium 10's Google Chrome extension. First things first, you need to be using the internet browser Google Chrome. You can either click the link in the description down below to download, or Google download Google Chrome and then click Google's link that leads to their website and hit download Chrome. Now to install the Helium 10 Chrome extension, again, either click the link in the description below or Google Helium 10 Chrome extension. Go to Helium 10's website, click download now I already have the extension, so mine says remove from Chrome, but yours will say something like add to Chrome or install. So click that button. Then to pin it to your taskbar, click the puzzle piece at the top of Google Chrome and click pin on Helium 10. Now that you have some product ideas written down, it's time to use X-Ray to give us an idea of which of these products could be a viable option. In the Amazon search bar, type in what you think the main keyword for this product would be. The competitors for this product should come up. 
Now we're going to pull up X-Ray by going to the top of Google Chrome, clicking the icon that we pinned at the top, and click on X-Ray. So you'll see the X-Ray box pop up. We're going to remove the sponsored products as it's skewing our data and go through and remove any products that are not like for like comparisons. We want the product to be as identical to yours as possible. So same color, same package quantity, etc. Next, we're going to remove any big brand names and then we're going to arrange the monthly revenue from high to low. Okay, now that we have a list of your like for like competitors and all their data, it's cool that we get an inside look into their business and what the listing activity has been like in the last 30 days. So it tells us the price they sell it for, estimated unit sales in the last 30 days, estimated revenue in the last 30 days, their BSR, which stands for best seller rank, and the lower the number, the better for them, estimated FBA fees, number of active sellers, number of ratings. So when a product is selling well, but the reviews aren't very impressive, it means one, there's room for the product to be improved, Two, for you to come in and improve the product and it gives the customer a reason for them to choose your product over someone else's who is already well established. And it proves that there is demand for this product despite people advising against it. Now that we have all this valuable data, we're going to hit download CSV report at the bottom. I like to keep all my data in Google Sheets, so go to Google Sheets, create a new sheet, import this data into a new tab, repeat this entire process for each product idea that you have. The next tool within the Chrome extension I'd like to show you is the profitability calculator. It allows you to estimate super quickly if the product will be worth looking into or not. So click on your competitor's listing, click on the Helium 10 icon we pinned at the top, now click profitability calculator, so the calculator comes up and select if you plan on doing FBA or FBM for this product. FBA is fulfilled by Amazon and FBM is fulfilled by Merchant. So this would be you shipping out the product instead of Amazon. So in this case, we're selecting FBA. So this calculator is pulling all the product specs from the listing for us. Once you reach out to manufacturers, you can enter in the unit manufacturing cost here. Or if you do a quick search on Alibaba, you can get some estimations there as well. Or if you'd rather, the calculator estimates 20% of the list price for you. This to me looks like a good estimated cost for shipping. Again, if you're already in contact with a manufacturer, you can ask them to give you a shipping quote. Next, it calculates the FBA fee, which is the fee they charge you to pick, pack, and ship the product to the customer. Then it calculates the monthly storage fee here. Next is the Amazon referral fee, which is typically 15% of the list price, but it does depend on the category. Duties and tariffs. This is another one you can ask your supplier since it definitely varies product to product. And there's a section here to enter in any additional costs you'd like to add. Maybe you'd like to include a free accessory with the product or something like that. Okay, at the bottom, it calculates your net profits, profit margin, and ROI, which stands for return on investment. Net profit is the estimated revenue after discounts and returns, so AKA money in your pocket. Profit margin is estimated percentage of the sale price that becomes profit. So in my opinion, 20% is kind of the minimum that you should aim for on Amazon. ROI, return on investment, is the estimated percentage of financial return on total investment. So for example, 100% would mean you're doubling your money. Analyzing the data. Now you have all your product ideas and their data stored in one place in a Google Sheet. So now you can flip through the tabs and compare the data between one another. So you kind of have to make your own judgment on what you think would be a good product to sell. I gave you those tips at the beginning of this video on what I think would make a good product to sell. Another tool I recommend using is Helium Tense Cerebro tool. It is a reverse ASIN lookup tool so you can look into what keywords your competitors are ranking for and the monthly search volume on those keywords. So you can see how many times per month customers are using certain keywords to search for a product, which is so, so handy when putting your keywords into your listing. And it validates your product idea even further. The proof is right there that people are searching for the product. Now this tool isn't part of the Chrome extension. It's part of their tool suite so you have to log into Helium 10's website to access 
the tool. It is part of their free plan, but it is limited. So if you find yourself maxing out on the free benefits in the Helium 10 tool suite, you can upgrade even just for a month and you can use my code MEGANMOSS50 for 50% off your first month or MEGANMOSS10 for 10% off for life. So those are the tips that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to enter the $50 Amazon gift card giveaway that I am hosting. So please like the video, subscribe, and comment one thing that you learned from this video, one entry per person. And in your comment, don't forget to leave your email address so I can contact you. I'll be running the contest until May 17th, so you have some time to enter, tell your friends, and that's all I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.